see up close you can kind of see the gold in it it's kind of getting green now but from far you cannot y'all see that it's magic <laughs> Hey guys, what is up? It's your girl Shanice. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I would love for you guys to hit that subscribe button and join the gang. And if you are not new, what's good, what's popping? Welcome back, family. So, as you can see by the title of this video, it's going to be a life in LA vlog. For those of you who don't know, I did move to LA in April of last year and I've been absolutely loving it. So, I cannot wait for you guys to see this vlog. But before we get into that, I do have a quick haul that I want to share with you guys. I picked up a few things from Lulu's and I did partner with Lulu's and Magic Links on this video. So, I'm super excited to show you guys all the pieces that I got. Y'all know winter is here so i did pick up a lot of cozy things and honestly i love shopping at lulu's even though this video is sponsored i shop there myself they have great quality items very affordable luxurious they literally have everything on that website that you need from basics to holiday wear to you know birthday attire and wedding stuff so of course i will link all of the items that i got down below as well as my sizes and if they are having any sales which I think they are, I will link that down below as well. So let's just hop right into this haul. So the first item I picked up was this beautiful champagne robe. And honestly, when it comes to the winter, I love getting robes. I honestly stock up on robes because they're just super comfortable, easy to just throw on in the morning. And this one caught my eye because of course the color is just super beautiful. But when I seen the material on the website, it just looks so freaking expensive it looks luxurious and this is definitely what it's giving me it feels amazing on my skin it is very very soft and it's actually super weighty it is pretty heavy for a robe but it's really nice it just feels like it's really good quality and you get what you pay for but the best part about this robe is definitely the pockets I love pockets on anything and on a robe is just even better and just more cozy and snuggly so this is definitely one of my favorite items that I picked up. Okay guys, so this is the next outfit. It is this three-piece checkered set. And it's like in this burgundy and cream color. Y'all, this is really cute. It's definitely out of my comfort zone. Like, like this is not something that I would pick out usually. But I thought it looked so cute on the model. And I thought it was like really festive to winter and i thought this could be a really cute outfit with like maybe a barrette and some thigh high boots just to pull the whole look together oh it's kind of cute what do you guys think i love three piece sets because you can wear everything separately so the skirt the tank top and then the cardigan the material of this is super warm because I'm getting very hot right now. It's not scratchy or itchy or anything like that. So I can definitely see myself wearing this like on a date night with my girls or even with my man. This is cute and very, very festive. Y'all, do I look like Christmas right now? I really feel like I look like Christmas. So I got another two-piece set. This is actually not what I picked out, but I picked out something similar but it was sold out so they sent me this over so it's still really cute let me try this on okay so this is the next set and it's actually really really cute so i did get this in a size extra small and i'm not mad at it it fits actually pretty well it is very stretchy usually i'm small but this still fits perfect and this is another like date night outfit i can picture myself wearing and it's comfortable it's easy the material of this is like this nice knitwear. I think I have some boots that can possibly go with it, but hold on. So I ended up getting these boots, which I was super excited about because I really wanted some brown boots because I don't own any like brown boots. So I picked these ones up. So this is like a camel brown color and the hardware is actually gold details, which is really nice. And then look at the heel on it. I'm not sure what trend this is called, but I know this has to be super comfortable to walk in because of that. These are so bomb. I love the color and I love where it hits on my knees. They're not too long and they're not too short. They're 
literally perfect. It stops right at my knee. So oh, if they had these in more colors, I would definitely pick them up. I'm not sure if I already said it, but I did get these in a size 7. So I did go up half a size and they fit perfect. Love. Okay guys, so this is the next top that I got. Well, actually it's a bodysuit, so that's even better. It's a thong bodysuit at that. And this is another one of my favorite pickups. Y'all see me wear this in the last video and it is so freaking pretty. It's so feminine. I love just the detail of this top. For me, my decolletage area, this area right here, neck bone is one of my favorite areas to show. So this top, is everything oh my gosh so freaking pretty there's so many different ways that you could wear this as well like you could dress it up you could dress it down you can wear it with leggings you can wear it with jeans trousers whatever leather pants so many different ways you can wear this even with shorts so on this top there is some wiring right here so it keeps it nice and structured so the top doesn't fall down and it keeps the girls like in place so the quality of this is amazing as well so definitely another one of my favorites the girl is loving it <laughs> so the next item is this beautiful like peanut butter cream tan bubble coat when I seen this on the model I was like yes honey I need this the color on this jacket is just everything to me and I absolutely love the color so so this is a cropped jacket and obviously on me it's not really that cropped because I'm short I'm only 5'3 but that's exactly why I got it in an extra small because on the model I seen that it was still kind of oversized on her so I was like okay let me get an extra small it will still be very roomy and I'm very happy with my choice so this jacket it feels like a pillow it feels like a cloud it is so soft it is so like plush it feels so freaking good so yeah this is what the jacket looks like i think it is very very cool this is how it looks zipped up and of course it does have pockets what is a jacket without a pocket guys i love this jacket okay so last item i got this beautiful ribbed dress and i feel like you cannot go wrong with the black dress especially in the winter you need more long sleeve dresses well at least i need more long sleeve dresses so this one looked really really nice on the website the thing is, this is black, but it has a little bit of gold flexes in it. I cannot even, it's kind of, it's kind of hard to tell, but it's there. There's a little bit of gold in it, which is kind of nice. It's kind of like a, a little surprise. So yeah, I thought this was really simple. It can go with multiple things. And then it has a nice little split in it, so it gives a little bit of sexy, you know? So that is cute. And it is a turtleneck, so it will definitely keep you nice and cozy and warm. But yeah, there's not much to say about this dress. If you're looking for a basic, a staple, something to put in your closet, which you can pair with multiple things, this is definitely something to get. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about this dress and everything else that I got in this haul. I feel like I picked up a lot of cute items. And if you guys are interested in any of them, of course, they will be linked down below as well as my sizes. So yeah, let's just get on with this vlog. Hey y'all, what is up? Happy Friday. It is like later in the day on Friday. It's like my phone's not in here, but it's probably around like 8 o'clock or something like that. Maybe not even. No, it's like 7. <laughs> so anyways, I just washed my hair, put it in two braids. Y'all, I have breakage from doing the ponytail when I went to St. Thomas, y'all. Like all right here is just broken up it's so ugly but i have to jelly down a little bit but anyways i got my makeup i did my makeup something light and me and brian are actually gonna go out to dinner and then we are gonna do like karaoke or something he said he planned like karaoke he loves karaoke me on the other hand i'll be sitting down <laughs> but yeah let me show you guys quickly my outfit of the night super chill relaxed but cute Okay, so this is my outfit of the night. I'm wearing this cardigan, which I absolutely love. It's so cute. I'm wearing this jumpsuit. The quality of this jumpsuit is actually very, very good. Nice and sh stretchy and just nice and thick. Um, kind of doing a monochromatic look and then I'm wearing the Yeezy foam runners, I know. Cannot believe I got these shoes, but they're so comfortable. 
Um, I don't want to wear them with socks, but they kind of rub on the back of my heel because they're too big. So I got to wear them with socks today. And then I'm wearing my Louis Vuitton, can't remember what it's called exactly, but this little backpack. So yeah, we are about to dip out. And my fragrance of the night is Tom Ford Soleil Blanc. Love, love, love this as a daytime, nighttime, anytime scent because it's so freaking good. It smells so good. I just smell like I'm in the tropics. And I just washed my hair, so I'm like, you know, I want to smell, I want to smell yummy. So that's that. So Brian, where are we going today? We're going to Joey's. <laughs> After. I wanted something I wanted to do. For such a long time. And that is you need to touch to karaoke. Yeah, we're going to karaoke. I already told him that though. There was 20 people in front of us so we're at district now it was like a minute away so we're just gonna get a drink and like some appetizers and hopefully we get to see that joey soon i don't know though i don't know i don't know though so i got a lemon drop y'all already know yeah you did different i didn't know you drink vodka i like lemon drops whenever you la <laughs> He said LA. You ordered a lemon drop and he was like vodka. I was like, and he was like, what kind of vodka? I was and then like, he was like Kettle One. one. I was like, like, yeah, I don't know you no more. Me and everybody, what you got? Oh, I didn't try it yet. Oh. <laughs> I got an IPA, an Indian Pale Manly beer. Very. You want to try mine? I don't want to try it. Right? Try mine. Try no, no, no. no, no, it's good. Just a sip. I know it's good, but I'm drinking. Uh -huh. Shout out to the bartenders out there. Cheers. Automatic 20%. When you go out, take your eat. 20, oh yeah, 20. Automatic 20%. Oh, yeah. too. Remember, I used to do like bare minimum. Whether good service or bad service. Bad service? Are you kidding me? Okay, if they're like, 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 they're I gotta get disrespected for me to give like a whole ass to. I gotta feel like you disrespect me. Or you play with my time. What's the drink and not cheers? I did not even get to show you. We tearing up the sweet potato fries and the wings. I'm sorry. But yeah, the wings were good and the fries were good. So, and the drinks were good. So, nice little place here. Me and Jasmine used to come here a lot. But we used to go upstairs where the Sheridan is. So, our table's ready at Joey's now. So, we are leaving this strict and we're walking over to Joey's, which is literally right there. And district was down there so it was like a one second walk <gasps> anyways we're headed to Joey so I can get my amazing little uh, lettuce wraps got my Szechuan chicken lettuce wraps I've been craving this yay and I got uh, Donna Paula Malbec Mendoza Malbec, that's what I got. Mendoza, Argentina. Yes. And Brian got an old fashioned.
y'all, I'm back home. Change of plans. Brian is not feeling well at all. He has like a major toothache that's going into like his face and his brain. Well, his head. So we just came back home. He's gonna go to sleep. And I'm gonna go out with Jasmine and Mona. We're going to a place downtown. I'm like, I already have my makeup on, so I might as well go somewhere. Brian is gonna have to sleep. I feel so bad for him. Toothaches are the worst. One of the worst things to have because it just hurts your entire face and your entire head and I know what that feels like so <sighs> I feel really bad for him but I told him to rinse his mouth and stuff with like salt water so hopefully that helps so anyways y'all I'm gonna see you guys soon <laughs> oh my God. Hi. 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 how are y'all you vlogging too Y'all, we are headed out for the night. It's a girls' night downtown LA. It's the club. Ooh, I feel so short compared to you guys. Okay. <laughs> I know, and we have heels on. <laughs> we put on heels. <laughs> Anyways, let's go. So we're about to take scooters to the club because <laughs> it is a far walk, and the girls are wearing heels. So yeah, the Uber is like twenty dollars, but it's right there. So we just are gonna take some scooters. We should be cute. Jasmine on the scooter in her heels. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. Scooter girl. outside it's so foggy look at this look at my window wow that 
looks so scary. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna miss this when we move. When we move, I'm gonna miss all of this. Like all these windows being high up. See, Stormy's barking now. <laughs> I'm gonna miss all of this. Hey y'all, what's poppin'? Happy Saturday. So yesterday, me and my girls went out. We had so much freaking fun. And obviously I went out with Brian too. We had fun, but like I said, he had a lot of pain in his tooth or whatever. So we went home and he went to the dentist today and got that, you know, um, taken care of. He has to go see another like specialist. So anyways, I'm just happy that he's not in pain anymore. Cause like I said yesterday, tooth pain is the worst pain ever. Uh, so anyways i'm actually about to head out again today it is literally a weekend of fun <laughs> a weekend of fun so me jasmine and mona we're going to this place called um pilot dtla we've been there already me and jasmine the food there is so bomb so freaking good it is actually expensive it's expensive but the food is worth it like mm so delicious like I want the lamb I already know I want the lamb I know it because it's so delicious so I think we're about to head there now it's like 10 o'clock we yeah we actually are starting our day very very late um today all I did was clean up a little bit and then I was watching football because football Saturdays I'm I think I'm obsessed now like I love watching football games so I watch obviously the USC game I didn't end up going and then I also watched SM, the SMU game versus Houston. So, yeah. Anyways, um, yeah. So, we're going to go to the Pilot downtown LA. And then we might go to Delilah's. I'm still debating if I even want to go to Delilah's. Delilah's is like a club after. But I really don't want to go because if I go out, tomorrow's going to be a write-off. And I have so much shit to do because I leave very very soon so i really want to get this house together i want my room to be clean i want to do a lot of packing i have to edit oh my gosh i forgot i have to edit i have to edit so there's a lot of things i have to do and if i go out tonight it might be right up tomorrow i'm wearing um a nice little uh sweater kind of shirt but the back is open and then I'm wearing my Wolford uh, tights, which I absolutely love. Outfit of the night. We're wearing the sweater with the open back. Y'all can see. And I'm wearing this Zara bag. And then I'm wearing these Zara pumps. What do you call it? Sling back heels with the Wolford leggings. And then my jewelry, my earrings are from Zara. My necklace is from Ana Luisa. And I think that's it. So this is the fit. I don't really like my hair with this outfit, but my hair is still wet, so there's nothing I could really do about it. So it is what it is. How stinking cute is Jasmine in her outfit? And those tall ass heels. <laughs> this is giving me memories. I know. You know, I never Ooh. posted a vlog from when we came here the first time. Like, you didn't? No, because that was like an incomplete vlog, so oh. I just never posted it. Y'all, all of the food places are closed, so Pilot was closed. I'm so sad. I was really craving that lamb, bro. Oh my god. With the cucumbers and the little sauce that it has. So good. It's so tender and juicy. Oh man, we gotta go back there. We have to go back. It's been a minute. Yeah, so that's closed. Then we went to another place. That was closed. Every place is closed. Nothing. But they're open. Yeah, no. There's no food place that you can sit down and eat at this late. time. But it's only 11.30. It's not that late. It's not that late. It's not yeah but there's just no i don't know like you could really go to a restaurant at 12 a.m and have a full meal in new exactly. york it's yeah so, even in toronto it's so normal like you can go out and have like a whole meal if you want to yeah i swear like the kitchen usually closes at like one if anything yeah but yeah so now we're just gonna have benihana's 
That's what it is, right? Benny Hibachi. Oh, Benny Hibachi from the food truck. I've never had it before. <sighs> I really want a pilot though. The Hibachi place was closed. They only took cash. We didn't have no cash on us. Just for like a last minute order. They said their system is down. That was absolute Ow. crap though. You think so? She, it took Apple Pay. They, they just wanted to pocket the, the mm -hmm. cash. True. Yeah, so, no food. <laughs> oh my God. I'm going to lose my mind. <laughs> I can't, I can't. Oh my gosh. I didn't like how the lady in pilot when we, she was like, me too. She was like, there's some taco stands. And me like, too. This was like outside, van. like yeah. Yeah, outside. and I was like, um, she was very like standoffish. I don't yeah, even, I did not like that at all. I got the vibe too. I was like, okay, bitch. Right. There's, like, just, there's probably some taco stands some outside. Taco or stands. Something. Like, like why would we want to get tacos outside? When we, you clearly see that we're dressed up yeah. and we want to sit down and have a meal. Girl, bye. Like what? I did not like that. <sighs> I'm getting hangry. Um, Girl, I was looking forward to this food, okay? I know, I'm sorry. I owe you. I owe Shanice. Your girl is back home. I don't know, someone was telling me, just go home, Shanice. It may not be a good night because everything was already going wrong and I'm like, I'm like, I have no food in my system. I'm not about to go out. I was already indecisive if I even wanted to go out tonight. And then I didn't get no food on top of that. Yeah, my ass is gonna stay inside and lay up underneath my man. <laughs> so, yeah, I put on this makeup for no reason. Got my outfit ready for no reason. And now I'm about to take this makeup off and take my ass to sleep. I really wanted to get a picture of the outfit today. I liked it, I thought it was cute. With my green bag. Yeah, but it is what it is. Your girl is gonna be wearing this outfit again, just for a photo, so if you see me in this outfit again, don't judge me, okay? <sighs> Your girl is prepping for vacation. I leave in two days, y'all, two days. Oh my gosh, so. I'm so tired right now, Yo, you don't even understand. I woke up at 6 a.m. and then um, I went to do my COVID test at 7. It was like 7.15, so I had to wake up 6 a.m., get that over and done with. And uh, yeah, I'm hella tired. I just wanna take a nap right now, but I can't because your girl is about to go do her hair. My hair looks cute like this though right now. It looks kinda cute. But I'm getting braids, of course, because I'm gonna be on a trip for two weeks and I don't want to like have the hassle of doing my hair every single day braids are the way to go on vacation for me if my hair lasted in its curly state I probably would go with a curly you know look but it's not no especially with all this length girl I don't even know how to take care of my hair no more at all like wash and goes it just don't work anymore I want to my hair is so freaking long it's like it touches my waist, okay? It touches my waist. So, well, not even my waist. It touches like my hip bone. My hip bone, like, bro, like right here. This is how much I wanna end up cutting off. Real talk, so. Anyways, your girl is going to her girl Cree, and I'm about to get I, probably the same braids I got last time. I wouldn't mind medium braids, like a little smaller than what I had before, but I'm probably gonna go the chunkier route, so when I come back home, I can just take them out and get all the work that I need to be done because when I get back, I have so many projects, so much work to do. Because it is two months till the end of the year and it's crunch time for brands, it's crunch time for myself. There's so many different campaigns I'm a part of. And because I'm going on this trip, it's kind of taking up a lot of that time where I have to actually execute the campaign. So when I get back, I'm gonna be on go. So anyways, I think I'm gonna go to Starbucks, get me a little drinky drink before I head in this Uber and go to my appointment. So yeah, I will see you guys soon, I guess. Look at my neck bright, I get that check right. I'm so blessed right, off of that jet pipe, off of that side, off of that.
that new coupe Got been fired I said what I said, right? Hey y'all, so I did not get a chance to show you guys my braids But I pretty much got the same braids Or same style that I got when I went to Hawaii Because it's just super easy, super lightweight And uh, when I get back home I can just take them out fast and get to work So I got the big knotless braids Um... So this is what it looks like it's cute or whatever if bonds was here i probably would have got goddess sprays just because i can do a lot more with it and those are also easy to take out but this is just what i gotta work with and i love them so your girl went to sleep as soon as she got home i ate and then i went to sleep <sighs> yeah i was so tired i'm still tired but um, I'm getting ready because we're going to go to a game. Brian just woke me up. He's like, we're going to the Lakers and um, Rockets game. So I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> okay. So I'm not doing no makeup. I'm just putting on these lashes. And that's it. Oh, yeah. You guys see your girl did not do those dramatic ass baby hairs or grown hairs. Not yet. <laughs> I just did my regular schmegler baby hairs. And as time goes on, like more will come out. I want it to be more natural because, girl. The ones I did last time were not for me. Okay guys, we are off to the game. At first I said that I love you and you ain't say that shit back. It's kinda hard to just trust you when both your feelings don't match. Got me showing less emotions, I don't wanna get attached. Once I give you my word, I swear it ain't no going back. Once I give you my heart, you better keep that shit intact. Instead of assuming no words, girl, I'm just here stating facts. You want me to take you back, I want you to take me back. You want me to take you back, I want you to take me back. So tell me, is you gon' ride out when the chips fall? I seen too many people leave. When it get hot I'm tired of going back and forth when we pissed off Most of my friends don't went through it and they still talk See they gon' try and tell you what they think is good for you Most of they was buying men, I wish they was for you You gotta watch your back, your front, your side, they did slow you I gotta watch my crown, cause from birth I've been for you And it's from the sun Welcome back to another day so yesterday we went to the game it was really fun did my hair also this morning it is 8 55 in the morning i am going to do my lashes getting volume set and i'm gonna do my eyebrows and i think i'm gonna do my nails as well because these are a disaster it's been like this for like a month i swear so yeah i gotta do three things and then just a few small things so I'm tired. Well, actually, I feel pretty good this morning today. I feel pretty good. So I'm actually about to head out right now. The cleaners are going to come today. So hopefully when I come back, I'm, I have a clean house. But that all depends on Brian. So we'll see. About to head to my lash appointment. All right, y'all. My lashes are done. And I love them this time. Like, they're so bomb. Love, love, love. Your girl stopped at Starbucks. I got a mint tea. Um, no caffeine in it, of course. And then I also got a butter croissant. And I always tell them my name is Crystal because Shanice is just, it's too much for them, so.
brows and these brows are amazing i'm so happy i did the whole um tinting because literally i don't have to fill them in anymore i can wake up and go and um touch by bigs or touch by biggie i think that's her name she's really really sweet really nice her spot is really cute and everything i showed you guys that earlier but <sighs> i'm really happy with them and she's very like particular with how she does things she wants things to look the best sorry <laughs> So yeah, it's been a very productive day. Now I'm about to do my nails because they look like trash. Not exactly sure what I want to do yet, but we'll see. I think I'm gonna do French on my toes and then maybe white on my nails. I'm not sure yet, but we'll see. It is 127, so let's go. I've been out all day just running those errands. This is my first meal of the day. I'm so hungry. I just been having water and juice. Um, so I went to Whole Foods and I got me some salmon. See, this is what happens when you don't eat. I said salmon, I got me a salad. <laughs> um, the Caesar chicken salad that I believe I told you guys about in a previous vlog, but I've been craving that so. That's what I'm gonna have right now. And I'm gonna just chill on my couch, my clean house. The cleaners came today, so my house is nice and clean. And I'm gonna watch a show or something. So that's what we finna do. Okay, so I'm about to finish packing. I have so many packages to open, first of all. So a Zara package, but I wanna do a whole Zara haul. So I'm not gonna open this for you guys right now. Oh, okay. I got a kiss package. So I got a bunch of their different lashes. Ooh, so cute. Okay, so I got some double-sided tape always good to have on vacation okay, so i got this magnet magnetic swivel clip so i put my gopro on there people put this on their backpacks anything metal this can stick to so if i'm just walking and i want to get a nice just quick clip i just have to put the gopro like on the wall somewhere that has metal anywhere like a bar and i can just get a really unique shot so got that then I got the GoPro El Grande extension pole. So I see a lot of YouTubers who use their GoPros. Um, they always use this. And I have a small one that floats underwater or floats on water, but I wanted the long one because the small one, my arm just does not extend wide enough. This one, I could stick it all the way out and then you could see more of, you know, what's underneath the water. So. I'm interested to try this. I know people said that this is kind of heavy, so that's what I'm nervous about. But I'm excited to see like what I can do with that. So many freaking accessories. So the next accessory I got for my GoPro was this Telesyn, um dome, dome port. So pretty much you just put your GoPro in here and then you'll get this Type of look right here where you can see what's going on under the water and above the water which i think is a really cool shot like i've seen a lot of even photos on instagram and they get that really dope you know shot like this so i think that would be really cool to play around with this is kind of big so i don't even know if i want to bring this but i think it would be fun oh travel adapter of course you need this and then okay some more gopro accessories so dang this is a lot of gopro accessories like i don't want to be walking around like bag lady um so yeah, this is the the chest mount right here and then it also came with the head mount as well um if you are going zip lining this will come in handy because no hands you don't need any hands you just stick the gopro to it and you're good to go and then i got a package from sephora which I'm super excited about. So anyways, I got the Valentino Donna Born in Roma perfume. 
I'll show you guys the packaging. And it's a nice sweet smell. I like sweet perfumes. So this is what it looks like. The bottle is so cute. So cute. Yeah, I love Mmm, it smells so sweet. And your girl is a sweetie, so. Oh, this is so nice. I really like this a lot. And then I got black opium. I used to have black opium a while ago. And I really loved it as like a nighttime perfume. Honestly, I used to wear it all the time. So, what am I saying? I had the really small one. Like, it was the travel size. But not the roller ball or not the, like, the little skinny one. It was... Maybe it's this size, let me see. It. Okay, no, so the one I had was even smaller than this right here, but this is so nice as well. It's a nice sweet smell too. Let me spray it. Mmm. This smells really, really good. So I'm gonna probably bring, be bringing this one and my Tom Ford with me. And then I'm obsessed with Laneige lip products, like obsessed with their lip sleeping mask. I probably, I think I told you guys this too. I went through like five of them already, maybe six now. So I just read up and I got some more of them. You cannot have enough um, lip stuff because you'd always, always use this. So I can have one by my computer, by my bedside, in my bag, in another bag, so, you know? And then lastly, I got Olaplex number three. I've heard so many good things about Olaplex. So I was like, I really, really wanna try this. My hair, because it's getting so long now, I feel like it's more prone to breakage. It's not as strong. And I really, really wanna cut it. So yeah, for now I'm just gonna be using, or I'm, for now I'm just gonna be trying this Olaplex number three. Hopefully I can see like a change in my hair or hopefully it works because this shit was expensive. So I'm gonna try this out the next time I wash my hair, probably after I take out my braids, which will honestly be a great time to use it. Okay guys, I'm pretty much done packing. There's just a few things that I gotta do, but I'm gonna do that tomorrow morning. I don't leave until like around the evening time, so I have a good amount of time to get all my shit together. So both of my bags are pretty much packed, except for I have to do my makeup. Everything is already ready to go, except my brushes are drying, so I'm waiting for my brushes to dry, which will take until tomorrow. And then I can put that in my suitcase. I got to pack up all of my Zara stuff over there. I plan, hopefully, if I wake up early enough, I want to do a Zara haul in the morning. Um, and then I'm going to pack all of those clothes that I'm bringing away. And then I have a few things over here, like my little essentials. I don't think I'm done with this stuff yet, but I have all my jewelry in here. This is Zara, so I want to wait to do my Zara haul. In here, I have all of like my essentials, like medicine band-aids tied to go melatonin things like that are in here um tampons and here i have like all of my wires and stuff for my camera just little small knickknacks that i need for my camera um wires for my um beats chargers things like that are in here so i can just come to this bag and get what i need um, and then my beats, my main camera that I use for vlogging. Um, this is my solar powered um, charger. So this is solar powered. Like I don't even need to charge this on a computer or anything. I can just put it out in the sun and it will charge by itself, which is so bomb. I got this from Amazon. If you're on vacation, I mean, you have to get this. So... I'm charging that right now so I can have all the charges ready to go. I'm not sure if I'm gonna bring the bigger one and then just check both of them in. I really don't want to because this has like my GoPro and it has my drone and all of that. And I kinda wanna keep that with me. So, yeah. I just put random stuff in here. And then I also have like my Jack Moose and my Hermes slides in here. So I don't wanna put that in my bigger suitcase. And then this has all of my clothes in it. I'll probably go through this with you tomorrow. We'll see. 
but my packing has not really changed at all. Pretty much the same thing. Hey, store me in my clothes. <laughs> but your girl is about to take a shower and go to bed. Oh, <clears throat> damn. And go to bed. So I will see you guys tomorrow before I leave. I didn't get to show you guys really how I packed everything because I'm in a rush now. I literally have to leave in like 45 minutes. So I am packing two suitcases because I'm going to be there for two weeks. And I just want to have options. So... In this, I have, I think, all of my dressy clothes. And then I have all of my camera gear here. And then on the other side, I also have, like, tampons, pads, boob tape, things like that over there. I have my jewelry case all in here. Um, I think that's it. Oh, and then I have my casual fits in here. So casual and dressy fits are all in here. The pillowcase, satin pillowcase comes with me everywhere I go. In this one, I have my body care products, uh, hair products, things like that, which I'm gonna use for the shower. Um, I have all of my underwears and night clothes in here. In this section, I have all of my sandals. I have all of my cover-ups in this one right here. I have a few hats, one workout outfit, all of my swimsuits in this one. These have all of my slides, and then this one has all of my heels. This is the most amount of heels I brought in a while on a trip. <laughs> Let's see if I actually use it. I usually never wear heels, but we'll see. Behind here, I have all of my skincare products. So these, so this is everything that I am bringing skin wise. I have a dirty clothes little bag right here, beach bag. All of my makeup is in here. And then I have all of my uh, bags that I'm bringing in here. I think I have about four different bags in here. So that is how I packed. It's an organized mess. Everything has a place. This is a lot more than I usually pack, but I'll be okay. And Stormy's definitely trying to come with me. Stormy, I gotta go, babes. I love you. So I'm about to put on my hoodie, call my Uber, and dip out. So I love you guys. I'll probably see you in the next vlog, which will be the travel vlog. Deuces.